The first of Britain's new nuclear deterrent submarines, HMS Dreadnought has now been under construction for over four years. The Royal Navy's new sea-based nuclear deterrent will be the largest submarine ever delivered to Britain, along with the stealthiest. Along with the two Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carriers, the Astutes represent the core of the Royal Navy's offensive capabilities. With the emergence of new tensions between NATO and Russia, they have regained the old anti-submarine mission, especially as Russian maritime interest has focused on rebuilding and recapitalizing the submarine fleet. The Astutes are among the most formidable submarines in the world, and certainly pose a major threat to any Russian designs on the North Atlantic or the Arctic. The first of Britain's new nuclear deterrent submarines, HMS Dreadnought has now been under construction for over four years. The Royal Navy's new sea-based nuclear deterrent will be the largest submarine ever delivered to Britain, along with the stealthiest. The new HMS Dreadnought. The Royal Navy's newest technological marvel. The name of the lead vessel has been seen as significant since it was announced five years ago. As the British Ministry of Defence has noted, Dreadnought is one of the famous names in the Royal Navy. The service does boast the most advanced warship of her class once again. When HMS Dreadnought entered service with the Royal Navy in 1906, she was the most revolutionary warship of her era. She was the first battleship to feature a uniform main battery. She was also the first capital ship to be powered by steam turbines, making her the fastest capital ship in the world at the time of her completion. The Royal Navy has now begun construction of a new vessel named Dreadnought more than a century later. It will be the lead boat of a class of ballistic missile submarines meant to replace the Vanguard class. A total of four subs have been ordered, and the first two are now under construction as part of the Dreadnought Alliance. A partnership involving Bay Systems, Rolls-Royce, and the Submarine Delivery Agency. The future Dreadnought and her sister boats promise to be the most powerful and advanced ballistic missile submarines when they enter service in the early 2030s. As previously reported, the class is expected to be 150 meters long, nearly 500 feet and displace 17,200 tons, making the Dreadnoughts the largest submarines ever built for the Royal Navy. The submarines will also feature a new lighting system that can simulate night and day, giving underwater mariners a better sense of what time it is, another first for the Royal Navy. The Dreadnought class are designed from the outset to have a service life of 35 to 40 years. This is a significant increase over their predecessors which should reduce through life support costs but has contributed to the high initial price tag of £31 billion for the four vessels. A further £10 billion contingency fund has sensibly been allocated and has already been drawn on to reduce long-term costs and future risk, primarily by supporting industry through advanced orders and investment. HMS Dreadnought, to enter service in the early 2030s, the emphasis on stealth is already visible in the external appearance of the boats. Since the 1980s, submarines have been fitted with noise-reducing anechoic tiles, while the current astute class utilizes an anechoic coating. This has resulted in a better covering of the submarine's hull, and reportedly provides a more optimal performance when compared to adding the tiles after the hull has been completed. The Dreadnought class will also utilize a much quieter propulsion system by incorporating a new turbo-electric drive, which uses the nuclear reactor to generate electricity and powers the motor that drives the propulsor. By driving the propeller shaft directly, this should result in a far quieter submarine. The Dreadnought will have a very clean hull form without the missile compartment hump of the Vanguard class and will feature a distinctive raked fin. The forward hydroplanes have been located in a lower position similar to the Trafalgar-class boats and will almost certainly be retractable for berthing the boat alongside. Dreadnought is larger than the Vanguard-class, with a submerged displacement some 8% greater, totaling 17,200 tons. They will also be 3 meters longer than their predecessors, despite having fewer missile tubes. A bigger vessel allows for a larger and inherently safer reactor, further quieting technology and provides more room for improved crew comfort. This will be the first Royal Navy submarine designed from the outset to accommodate both male and female personnel and have a dedicated sickbay for the embarked doctor. A gym space. 
classroom and study areas on board as well as a new lighting system simulating day and night. The boat will almost certainly have integrated electric propulsion and be driven by electric motor instead of the steam turbines used on Royal Navy nuclear submarines until now. The reactor provides steam for turbo generators that provide power for the motors and the rest of the boat's requirements. Motors avoid the need for noisy reduction gears and allow more flexibility in the layout of the propulsion system. The Dreadnought class share a common missile compartment design with the US Navy's Columbia class SSBNs. Babcock in Recife and Bristol are involved in the manufacture of the missile tube assemblies and since 2014, has won contracts for 57 missile tube assemblies. Another contract was secured in June 2020 for an additional 18, will bring the total made by Babcock to 75. The quad pack of four tubes is about 80% fitted out with wiring and pipework before insertion into the pressure hull. Each Dreadnought boat will be fitted with three quad packs, giving 12 tubes while the US Navy Columbia's will have 16 tubes. Named 56 years after the launch of Britain's first nuclear-powered submarine of the same name, Dreadnought has extensive historical significance. A previous Dreadnought sailed with Sir Francis Drake to repel the Spanish Armada, another was present with Nelson at Trafalgar, where her gunnery was acknowledged to be the most devastating of any ship present. But the most famous of all was the 9th Dreadnought a battleship so advanced that it rendered all others obsolete at a stroke. Dreadnought is also the largest submarine ever built in Europe and to deliver the project, Bay Systems needed to make a major £300 million investment in supporting infrastructure. Work at Barrow has been ongoing for several years and the main central yard complex is complete and already in use. The pressure hull is constructed in sections or rings which are delivered to the giant new central yard facility. Here the rings are fitted out and will then be transported to the Devonshire Dock Hall for assembly into a complete submarine. The service does boast the most advanced warship of her class once again.